Mm -hmm. All right, before you head to the party, it's important to remember to celebrate safely. Yeah, so if you drink, make sure that you have a sober ride home. The night team's Avery Everett shares the message from two families who lost loved ones to drunk drivers. It's been really hard. For Ulyssa Valero's family. Some days are better than others, but we miss her. Every day has been hard to bear since her death. She had a big heart. She would help everybody. She was hit and killed by a drunk driver three months ago. Now, her family is hoping her story will stop people from drinking and driving during Fiesta. It's scary because we know a lot of drinking goes on. And they're not alone. In 2016, myself and my family were hit head on by a drunk driver. Aziza Salama lost her fiance in that crash. In our city, this is a huge problem. Now, she helps run San Antonio's Free Riders program. It's a program that brings together more than a dozen bars. Their owners all pledge to provide free rides to prevent impaired driving. So someone sees a sticker like this in the bathroom, what are the next steps? Uh, it's as simple as just walking up to the bartender manager asking, hey, you know what, I think I've had too much to, draw, uh, to drink. Can, can I get a ride home? She wants this to be a solution for anyone who may have had one too many. We want to be preventive. We don't want to be reactive. So much of Fiesta is celebrated on the streets of San Antonio, but construction across the city is causing even more concerns when it comes to drinking and driving. We really want to challenge people to make sure that they have a sober ride home. You can take somebody's life like the way Ulisa's life was taken. It was just so unexpected and it, it, it's hard. As traffic starts to flow in for Fiesta, these families are urging San Antonio to celebrate with safety top of mind. Anything can happen. People traveling to and from Fiesta events over the next week can cash in on a rideshare discount. We have that code for Uber on KSAT.com. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News.